previously on Amori. Okay, I don't. I want to support you. Who will it be? It is I. I will dance with you, Sir Sprout Mall. Your moves are so divine. You smell good. Shut up and kiss me. <laughs> and now back to... Waiting for something to happen. Hello! B, back with some more Amori. We last left off, we murdered the shit out of Sweetheart. She's dead. She's never coming back. Oh, wait, no, 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 she didn't die, actually. She went and got back together with Space Boyfriend, and they flew off, and she still sucked. <laughs> she still sucked. Uh, you know, I, I feel like after that, that, that sequence of Sweetheart's Castle, I think, especially I kind of felt like it, I felt like when I went back to edit, I kind of was like, you know what? I think this section might have gone just a little too long. <laughs> just a little too long. And I think it kind of just, it ended a little like, I was hoping there'd be some payoff with Sweetheart, you know, like, like there'd be some maybe indication or that they would have given us some reason to like, like her a bit more, like made her a bit more sympathetic or whatever. Nah, the end just kind of sucks. She just sucks all the way till the end. And then they, they get back together with Space Boyfriend for reasons. I don't know why the hell, what does Space Boyfriend possibly see in her? Fortunately, this question is answered by uh, Zeno the Nightshade, who last episode said, reasons Space Boyfriend put up with Sweetheart. One, simp. Two, mind-boggling great sex, just top tier. Three, he's an absolute masochist. Four, ultra simp. Edit, and because I completely forgot, five, Stockholm Syndrome. Yeah, yeah, you know, those are all viable. Those are all distinct possibilities. And maybe you're right. Maybe this, the sex is just amazing, just like godlike. She's just an absolute freak in the sack. And he likes it. All right, he likes it, freaky. It's possible that honestly, all of these are the reason, right? All of the above. But either way, I think we all, I think we'd all say with a relative amount of certainty is that uh, space boyfriend is way too good for sweetheart. Fuck that bitch. She deserves to demon die. But Zeno the Nice Shave, thank you so much for helping uh, elucidate the situation. And as for that reason, you are comment of the day. Uh, oh hey, I think I actually see a chest over here. <gasps> I do. I got a banana smoothie. Thank God I noticed that. But yeah, like I. I enjoyed um, parts of the castle, you know, I think there was definitely some interesting moments, but I feel like it might have just gone a little too long. Like, I think that last section with the hedge maze stuff, like, I think that could have just been cut entirely. <laughs> like, it felt unnecessary. Like, we already had been in there for a fucking while. And like I said, I feel like the payoff in the end, and I, I noticed that a little bit with Space Boyfriend's thing, too. I'm not really crazy about how at the end of each of these segments, we're seemingly just like, well, I guess that was pointless. <laughs> I, I swear to God, Kel said the, um, like, the exact same thing at the end of uh, the Space Boyfriend thing. And then at the end of this one, he's like, well, I guess we just wasted our time or something. And I mean, I get it. It's it's Kel, right? It's supposed to be sort of in jest. But I, I almost agree with him in some ways because as of yet, we haven't gotten to the, like, the purpose behind each of these, right? I'm guessing there's a very distinct possibility that I will simply not get that purpose in this route whatsoever. Maybe it won't be until the other route that I get it. Though I actually feel like there's actually a maybe even greater possibility that I do get it in this route because it does take place within this dream world and I'm guessing that this route focuses more on the dream world assuming that that's right maybe that's not right I just hope at some point we either get a moment where sweetheart becomes like more sympathetic or likable or at the very least we fucking murder the shit out of that bitch but this did give us an opportunity to come back here and talk to uh cowboy Billy or uh Mr. Outback uh, and he gave us some sweet dink lore. Um, however, there is a bit of a correction I want to uh, uh, mention about this. So I was initially told that uh, Mr. Outback, his dialogue was different between roots. It actually is not. It's actually the same in both roots. Uh, people got, got him mixed up with, uh, in fact, the other person that we talked to, the other uh, enigmatic foreboding character, uh, that was the keeper of the castle. Apparently what he says changes between roots. So initially I was gonna, at the start of this episode, gonna go back and talk to him again. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I've been informed that uh, if I talk to him now, this will unfortunately cut off a whole bunch of freaking achievements and side quests and sub quests at that location. And the best way I can imagine why that, like I was told this and I was like, what, huh? Why, how does that work? And after some thought, I was like, oh, it must be that he changes the location in some way, right? Because he did say that he created that based on like the wishes of Sweetheart, right? And that Sweetheart would eventually leave and oh, hey, I see another chest. 
Another banana smoothie. Um, Sweetheart would eventually leave and never come back, right? So he has no reason to keep the castle the way it is. So he's saying, come talk to me. I probably, he'll probably change it to something else. And if I do that, it's going to probably lock off any future side quests or any side quests that I would have had at that location, I guess. If that is the case, if that is truly the case, all I got to say is, fuck this game, man. What the fuck? Why is there, there's so much shit in this game that is like, like you can just either easily miss or cut yourself off from holy shit like i like some cryptic bullshit in some of my games but this is getting crazy seriously i was gonna go do that i don't know maybe it would have been obvious that that was like oh well what that would have would cut you off or something but i think a part of me unless unless they like clarify that like oh by the way are you sure you want to do this because if i do this it's gonna fuck everything up but if there's no if there is no clarification at all then i could easily just see myself doing it and being like okay clearly the game's letting me do this now it wouldn't let me lock off a bunch of additional side content that'd be here right right <laughs> is that right mr outback well god damn you were god damn right there nick i tell you what i am that murder just like how you almost missed me uh, no wonder people had to like guide me so much on some of these things. Cause like, seriously, I'll just fucking never see it. I would literally go through the whole LP. I'd go through both sides of the route and I'd probably never see some of this shit or just miss out on a whole bunch of the content. And it's like, I don't know, man. I think that like, I think some of that's good, but I don't know if it's like, having so much of it is. Cause it really is like, I feel like maybe stuff, it, this was created specifically for the people who like to dig into the lore, which means they have to, play through the game like 20 times but for the casual player for the person who's supposed to play through it once maybe twice if they want to see the uh both routes unless you have like a guy that is listing out everything that you're missing which inherently could spoil you if you're not you know careful it's like you're just never gonna see this shit you're just no way oh my god man i don't know since this game just feels like it hates me <laughs> like it's like you know what we're gonna reward your curiosity with a big fuck you and we're gonna lock you off from some shit like i'm just so mixed on it sometimes i like it and other times i'm just like i think this moment for me that that just kind of pisses me off a little bit i'm tempted to go just talk to him to see if he like makes it clear in any way by the way though i do actually have some good news uh i talked to nessie uh one of the creators of this game and i had an idea i was like nessie is there any way you could possibly take my save files and increase the what the fuck value to the highest level and she's like oh yeah i could do that oh yeah baby so that's right we're at max what the fuck now yeah <laughs> oh my god so we get to see all the crazy weird shit this game has that's all that apparently it does is it just shows like completely optional just dumb random shit and the highest level apparently is what the fuck value of 13. Unfortunately, uh, she did it for all my save files. So even when we go back and replay the other route, I will still have the highest what the fuck value. So I thought for fun here at the start, something we could do real quick is go see the ones that I missed up to this point. I've been given a non spoilery list by a couple of the mods. So I'm just going to go there and see the ones I missed because apparently they should still, I st should still be able to trigger them. And then we're going to leave any other ones and hopefully I'll just come across them more naturally. Though if I do end up missing them, you guys can still point it out to me again. From what I've heard from Nessie, they, most of these though, like the, the these do tend to be in places where you're likely going to see them, right? Like they're kind of hard to miss. So that's good. At least I, th I think I'll uh, just be kind of funny just to run into some shit, just see some really random stuff. And then I'll just, I'll know, I'll be like, oh, that had to be some what the fuck shit, right? what the fuck all right uh i think we're done here uh oh another thing i sort of uh i saw you guys point out to me is that it's a very distinct possibility actually i think they even said that she came from orange oasis right i think she, did she bring that up at some point but i think it's actually very possible that oh no not this place uh uh this donut house this actually might be like her grandparents or something and that would also explain why there was a picture of her inside this book right which i think initially you would see this and you're kind of like like what <laughs> like they got they they some like raunchy shit in here but it seems more like maybe she's just sending this like postcard to them of like look at me look at this slightly disturbing image of this woman with a giant gaping hole in her stomach you slipped the photo back but it's like i don't i don't even want to know man all right let's go see the ones that i missed up to this point okay let's go i know the one that you guys sort of brought up was apparently over in the junkyard so let's head back there that was apparently the indicator like and it, yeah, it does say here that you have to have like a value of at least two for this to trigger. Photo of someone familiar. The fuck? <laughs> what? Media? What the fuck? Yeah, I think that might have been it. I think that might have been it. 
I don't remember that being there. Okay, there's apparently another one in the Lost Forest. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can get it now because I can't actually go back in the Lost Woods, I don't think, but I'll try. I gotta go back there anyway to complete some, some side quests anyway. Oh, and apparently there's actually something else supposed to appear in Pyrefly Forest too, near where the, uh, the rare bear is. So I guess we'll see that on our way back over here. I think we'll just run. I always have to ride the whole minecart back. Uh, okay, I see the bear. I don't see anything immediately. I don't see anything. Maybe I gotta get the ability to swim first? Uh, let's see if I can go back to the Lost Forest, too. I can't. Ah, shit. Well, that's one that I actually cannot see, then. Apparently, there was something towards the very end of the, uh, the Lost Forest. Uh, if you had a what-the-fuck value of, I think, three or something? Oh, well. Uh, there's still apparently supposed to be one, like... Here, get me, dude. All right, bye, friends. Uh, Amari, I think you're forgetting somebody. Amari, I could possibly use a little help here. Where are you going, Amari? Please don't let me here. <laughs> That's funny. Actually, uh, interesting. I, I didn't even try to actually run and leave him there. I was thinking that maybe you could leave him there. Like, it would actually make it easier to uh, get away from the spiders. Because you, because they actually, if they touched your, any of your party members, too, they would also get you. Maybe it's a spider? Th this guy? Uh, no? Oh, yeah, right. I got to check out my new, um, my moves here. Because I did get an update to them. Uh, okay, pocket. All right, so what's the new follow-up moves here? Uh, attack again. Text twice with more with feeling. Seems like that one doesn't change any. If this is the exact same description as before. Just attacks again. Maybe it does more damage each time. Uh, aims for a low attack, greatly reducing the targeted foe speed and make and making them sad. Okay, I think that's I think a sad might be new, and I, I think greatly reducing it might be new as well. Uh, I imagine the release energy is the same, right? Yeah. Uh, look at Amori. Aubrey tries to get Amori to notice her, so she makes an extra strong attack on the same foe that ignores its defense. Oh fuck! Yeah, I think ignoring defense is new. Look at Kel. Kel pesters Aubrey, making both of them enraged and raising their attack. Ooh, really? Oh, wow. That's actually pretty cool. It raises their attack, which is already getting a boost from them being enraged. So, holy fuck. And give that, add that to Aubrey's uh, headbutt skill. That's probably really fucking good. Uh, look at Hero. Hero encourages Aubrey, making her ecstatic, <laughs> increasing her defense, recovering 75% of her heart, and recovering 50% of her juice. Holy shit. Damn. That's a lot of, lot of healing. Okay. Uh, Kel. Pass to Amori. Kel passes the ball to Amori, dealing big damage to a foe and making... It makes Amori ecstatic, really. We're actually starting to get stuff where it's like it double stacks a, a emotion on them. Kel pitches the ball to Aubrey, who knocks it out of the park and deals very big damage to a random foe. Okay. And Hero. Kel, Hero, Kel passes the ball to Hero, who helps Kel dunk on all foes, doing very big damage and reducing all foes' attack. Damn! Yeah, that shit's gotten really good. Okay, and Hero, I'm guessing it's just going to increase his... Uh, how much he heals him. Amori attacks, and Hero heals 40% of his, the heart and 20% of juice with words of encouragement. Cool. I think it's probably going to be the same for everybody, right? Yep. Nice. All right. I don't immediately see anything here off the bat. I guess it's possible maybe this one... Maybe I missed this one as well. Like, I triggered an event that just cut this one off. All right. Well, while we're here, let's go ahead and drop off uh, or complete those uh, uh, lingering side quests here. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's my teddy bear. Give teddy bear to Candly. <laughs> oh, God. It is actually that size. I'm so happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him to me. Here's a small gift for you. It's so much, but I hope you like it. Got a rubber duck. Come on, Teddy. What should we play first? Oh, no. Would you like a cup of tea? <laughs> he just waltzes over there. No, I won't do it. Ah! Uh, a cute rubber duck doesn't, doesn't like you very much. I don't like him either. <laughs> what? Fuck you, Donald. Uh, defense plus seven. That's pretty decent, I guess. Okay, and here's a book for you. Hmm, what to read? What to read? Ha! Ah, read every book in the shelf over 20 times already. I feel like something more interesting to read. Whoa! Where'd you come from? Gave an interesting book to Demi. 
Ah, how interesting. Wow, this book sure is. Oh, here we go. Interesting. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me something. Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. I must have zoned out for a moment there. Thank you so much for showing me this interesting book. I'll have to give you something in return. Let's see. How about this one? Here we go. This book is a collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Please enjoy it. Thanks. Deep poetry book. Now, where was I? Oh, I'm going to bet you equip this to, like, get, like, automatically, like, level two sad or level three sad. Touches the soul deeply. Where it starts sad in battle. Oh. No, it just starts sad. Regular sad. I thought I had a, a uh, an accessory like that, but maybe I didn't. I think I have, I have one for happy and... Do I have one for anger, too? Uh, I actually don't. But I probably will at some point as well. All right, well, that's a good one. And especially for uh, Amori here. That'd probably be a, a good one to start with. If I've got, like, stab on. All right, I got another joke for this uh, this chick as well. I'm sure she's just going to absolutely love it. I've noticed that her crying keeps getting more and more intense, right? So eventually just going to, like, fill up this pond or something. Ah, uh, hey, it's me with mother. It's your girl. Thanks to the clams. Here we go. Do you something funny? Yes. Oh, fuck. I have the wrong person out. Damn it. Which one have I not read yet? Was it the cheese joke? Let's try cheese. What do you call cheese? Oh, no, I did this one already. Wah! They don't seem to be going in order. Despite me having gotten that other one last. So, uh, fucking hell. Gotta figure out which one it was. Yeah, I think I got the exact same reaction I did before. Is the bicycle joke? Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? It was too tired. <laughs> that joke, the joke was so bad. Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's why I got No, I got a new one. Just makes you wanna, what, what? Huh, I would seem like she cried less. Uh, am I doing anything? Am I accomplishing anything, anything? Oh. No, it, okay. I guess maybe it's simply just telling her the right one. Maybe it doesn't matter. I just I just did an earlier one. It seems like it does like it based on the list here. I did that I did the last one first and she cried a fucking ton. And then I did the third one, she cried just a little bit less. And then I did the first one where she just like just a little little cry. I, I guess. I don't know. Fuck. Maybe it's just, just giving her one then. I figured it was like by the end you have to tell her tell all of them to her, but maybe not. Yeah, I don't see anything. I guess uh, I guess I must have missed it. Unless it's the bear himself. Something weird happened with me if I kill you? She so passed the ball to me and I become ecstatic? Yep, I sure do. Ah, yes. And I missed. Uh, nah, I don't see anything. I think I might have missed it. Oh, well. Uh, I think it's only one more. Yeah, okay. Apparently, it's uh back at uh, uh Sweetheart's Castle. Hey, there, handsome. Well, maybe you put what's cooking good looking. Oh, God damn this shit again. Okay, were there any that what do I have left? Uh, the weeping willow. Oh, that's right. The care package thing. Pessy's thing bed. Mayor Mole would know all about that. He can experience with the sun in the basement under the school. Oh, okay. So back where I was. That's interesting. I just realized there's two different Mari surprise looks. Look at this. There's this one. And then, or I guess that's kind of, is that angry? I guess that's angry, slight, slightly angry. Your brother mole in the sprout mole colony, which is in other world. Oh, what's that? You have a package for me? Give care package to brother mole. Hey, it's for my brother. Wow, it's 99 tofu in here. It's the best gift ever. He knows me so well. Thanks for the delivery. You know, I was saving this for a rainy day, but now that I have my care package, I won't eat it anymore. Life jam, great, thanks. Mm, slurp tofu, so good. Oh, it's probably all sleeping on a bed. If only you had something that could wake him up. Uh, god damn it. I need to set fire to his bed. Oh, here we go. Actually, I don't think I went over to this side. <laughs> yeah, actually, I didn't. I didn't touch this side of the mole colony. Oh, blast. Where in the world is my good for nothing son? Last night, I asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention, the bird. And I'm no long, long to hear the results. Oh, he's not doing what I think he's doing. I know where he is. He's sleeping. And he's trying to wake him up. What in the fuck is that?
I see an anvil above his head. Uh oh. About to die now. Okay, we got Root. King Carnivore. Root. Hope you don't mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you now. Oh, Jesus. Fucking music. Retu reduce attack. See the winning combo here. Annoy him. Look at you. Lower attack more. Release the gap. Everyone feels happy. Yay! Ah! And I feel fucking great! Oh, God. Did he just heal his own roots? Okay, so... Potentially not... No point to... Attacking the arms, maybe? Whatever. Fuck it. He's angry now, so this is actually... Wait. Yeah, anger is... Yeah, we're, we're good against anger. Okay, I'm gonna fucking... Flex! Uh, I'm fucking just stab the shit out of this thing. Uh, oh yeah, I see I do a double attack there. Oh, it is. Yeah, I'm actually attacking two more times. Uh, beat the fuck out of you. Ow. Ow. All right, this thing's about to die now. Say goodbye. <laughs> Get out of my sight. Give me that 13 fucking thousand experience. And air horn. Learned exploit. Learned last resort. Can learn tickle. Here I learned dazzle. Everybody got something. Orange juice, combo meal, life. Are you serious? Is that all that's fucking down here? Just optional boss and some really basic items. I thought it was gonna be guarding some really dang shit. Uh, exploit, deal extra damage to a happy, sad, or angry foe. <gasps> really? And any of them? <sighs> all of them? Oh, fuck. Fuck, in that case, let's, yeah, let's go with that shit, man. So stab to cost 13, this costs 30. Uh, we'll keep lucky slice on for now. I think Mach is just too good. Oh yeah, in this move, reduce all of a foe's stats. Probably, I think I'll do that. I'll take off Sad Poem. Cause right, right now, Sad is actually not the most optimal thing. Last resort, deal damage based on Aubrey's heart, but Aubrey becomes, be, but Aubrey becomes toast? Shit. So basically a kamikaze attack. Yeah, this does not sound worth it unless it's like some insane shit, but uh, Aubrey kind of already does insane damage on her own without having to die. Uh, tickle. All attacks on a foe will hit right in the heart for the for the turn. Really? All attacks by everybody? I'm guessing that's what that means. So every attack he receives in that turn will be a, basically a critical hit. Ooh. That could potentially be very, very good. Like, build that on top of, like, the running gun, what I was already doing? Maybe? That would take a lot of... I mean, that would, that would mean, like, three or four turns, though, of, like, prep, right? And what, in, at which point he could turn himself, like... They could remove that emotion or whatever, but... I mean... It, can I stack a critical on top of my flexed-out move? On top of, like, running gun and his emotion thing? I, yeah, I, I think I probably could, because I'm not actually necessarily getting a critical hit every time. I don't know. I, again, I'm a little confused by this. Does it mean the churn that I use it on, or does it mean the subsequent churn? It says just for the churn. So that probably means that only my party members, right? I mean, I'd be used to skill, and then only my party members could actually make use of it. Unless it's the next turn, in which case, Kel could as well. Ecat, careful child, you could have ruined an incredibly delicate caution. The measurements of the experiment are not 110% accurate. Chemical reaction may cause an explosion with enough force to destroy the entire village. Well, I better fuck around with this more then. Oh. Well, Bo? 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 Uh, do I have to go talk to the sun again? Now that I talk to him. Oh, wait, I can talk to this guy now. <sighs> this train made me so hungry. I should wish I had some tofu right now. Give tofu to very sweaty mole. I like the tofu. I really needed that. Here, and it returns my most prized possession. Please take good care of it. An alarm clock. A big air horn. There you go. Thanks. All right, time to blow it in his face. Use big air horn. <laughs> Who are you? What are you doing? Oh, no, I'm late. Could it be that I... No. I must have all slept. But, spat most of them asleep? 
This bed, it's powerful. Maybe even too powerful. I better tell dad about this. Daddy! Oh, God damn it! I need the bed. Give it back to me. Uh, dad, dial them here. How the hell did I beat you here? By the gods! <laughs> By the gods! Where have you been? I am afraid I have some terrible news. Where's your son? You know you can check. You can tell me anything. Last night while I was testing the bed, I, 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 I overslept. I wet the bed. No, it can't be. If what you say is true, then. All my research, this invention, the bed, it's all too demon powerful. I see my theory was that a bed would help sprout moles gain a good night's rest and thus gain productivity throughout the day, but what good is it? The very same invention causes sprout moles to lose productivity instead. The, pro the bed has potential for greatness, but the current risk is too high. By the gods, what have I done? Can I release this dangerous technology upon the world unless our humble village might never wake up again. Hey, you there, child. Take us bed away from us. We have no need for such demon power. Cool. Mine. Thanks. Now we gotta speak now of what you saw here today. Bro, they, they, these sprout moles do not get out much. But I like the bed. But I like it. No, I did not like All right. I've got the power of bed. All right. I get the bed to this guy. Do my eyes see me? I don't believe it. It's a bed. A real genuine bona fide bed. I'm gonna use it right, right this second. Hey, what are you doing? We hope you, you should help us. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's his all attitude? I mean, I even seem like it, but I'm a mole of my word. Oh, he's actually got a knife attached to him. Now, he didn't hear this from me, but earlier I believe I may have seen a sprout ball with a big pink bow digging through poor old Pessy's pockets. A sprout ball with a big pink bow? That's just like Rosa. That menace Rosa's at it again. Damn it, I knew I should have killed that bitch when I had the chance. Come on, we gotta make gotta make her hand over Pessy's thing no matter what. Where is it? Where is she? Is she back in Sweetheart's castle? Oh, hey, I can go to the hole in the wall here now. The gifts are out of the way. Who the hell is that? Legas, could it be? Ah, finally, some company. <laughs> I've been alone for so long. Is it a woman or a guy? That I, what feels like an eternity. At last, I have an audience. Ah, uh, he's either a very flamboyant man or uh, a Leda. <laughs> Who am I, you ask? Wait for the name. Why? I still can't tell, Rococo? I am the good agent upcoming artist, Rococo. This guy, okay, I see this guy. So this guy's kind of weird. Let's get out of here. Wait, don't go. Please listen to my story. It may be the only chance you have. Shut up, you stole that from Titus. Excuse us. Please listen, I'm so lonely. <clears throat> right. Now, where should I start? In the beginning was me, crying in a pod in the middle of space, witnessing my home planet blow up right before my eyes. I can still remember it all so vividly. Fire, fire, everywhere. Oh shit, I skipped over the last part. When I walk, I found myself in the middle of a desert, surrounded by a sea of brown sugar in a strange land I soon learned to be called Onjoasis. Even as a baby, I knew it was I was the sole survivor of my species. The last elf in the un entire universe. <laughs> we all pop a squat. So this is how it ends, I thought. Yet, in a stroke of luck, I was found by none other than a young doornut by the name of Sweetheart. She brought me to her family and they took me in as one of their own. Sweetheart and I, we grew up together. It was a rough childhood. We fought frequently, but she would always win. If I fought back, well... Anyway, I learned to run. <laughs> and I got quite good at running. But there's only so far you can run. Yes, it was a hard time. But even through that suffering, I stood firm. Because even then, I knew everything had a purpose. I was sent to this planet and survived for one reason and one reason only. To repopulate my entire species. Uh-oh. 
I like where this is going. There is a conspicuous gap in my memory after this, so I fast forward to a few years. <clears throat> At some point, Sweetheart and I fell deeply in love, became engaged, and moved to this giant castle together. Re what? Really? We were inseparable, her and I, and we loved each other dearly. I would do anything for her, and I mean anything. Any now it's ready to spend our lives together, the rest of our lives together, to grow old, to raise hundreds upon hundreds of children. Ew. Hmm. Thinking about it now, I wonder if I ever made that clear to her. <laughs> anyway, continuing my story. Alas, all good times must come to an end. As Sweetheart's fan base grew, she and I grew apart as well. She began receiving gifts and letters from suitors from all over the universe, asking for a chance to prove their love to her. Being her one true love, I was ve vehemently against this notion, but she wouldn't have it. Sweetheart is for sharing, she would say. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Monogamy is for sips! So one night while I was asleep, Sweetheart and her servants tied me up and sealed me inside the walls of the castle. I had been wandering aimlessly through the darkness in the inside the worlds ever since. Surviving off old toast and tofu. <laughs> Gross. Fast forward a few more years and that brings us to now. Yes. You four are the first living beings I've seen since that fateful day. Wow, sir. That's a really, um, shocking story. <laughs> I must be free. Ah, oh, sweetheart, why did you do it? Was I not good enough for you? Well, sorry about everything. We're gonna go now. Wait, I'm not finished yet. Oh, come on. Ah, for the last few years, I've had a long time to think. And I kind of gave up on my dreams and all that stuff now. It all seems so far away and pointless. So, I decided to drop everything and become an artist instead. Here it comes giving music. Here we go. Oh boy, here we go. Ah, since I am just starting out, I suppose I can give you all a discount. For my first ever masterpiece, I will only charge you a thousand clams. A thousand clams? Fuck you! I have like 20,000. I think I can afford it. Well, what do you guys think? A thousand clams is kind of steep, isn't it? Please commission me! <laughs> we will think about it. Ah, uh, yes, yes, of course. Do take your time. I will stand right here until then. Commission me. I've got 80,000 clams. I might be able to afford it. So a futon. The sheets are ch the sheets are cheap, lumpy, and have many holes in them. I had to eat something, man. Some cheap paints. Buckets of paint. Alright, I guess we'll talk to you. My first ever masterpiece only charged you a thousand clams. No. Oh, that's fine. Ah, I'm sure someone else will recognize the truth when they see one. Okay, I was sure I could just like lower the price any, but alright, fine. Le Magnifique! Please return after some more adventuring. After all, greatness takes time. <laughs> Scott Chiba, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, god damn it. I won't disappoint you! You fucking better not. Is he done yet? Please return after. Okay. I won't just. Okay. Whatever, dude. Whatever. You do you, man. Alright. So, sing back. Uh, in the kitchen of Sweetheart's Castle, apparently. Oh, I recognize you. You must be the paid actress for Sweetheart's Quest for Hearts. Boss is absolutely breathtaking. I believed every minute of it. Thank you. Uh, oh, hello there. Uh, oh, I've been, I've been spotted. Please don't tell you when I'm here. I just like digging in the pantry. I mean, who does it? <laughs> and then he fades from existence. What the fuck? That's a what the fuck if I ever saw one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think with that, we saw all the ones that I can see at this moment. So all the other ones we come across will happen more organically. And I won't know whether it was a what the fuck moment or not. But before we move on, I do want to just check. I want to see what this little fucker says. Let's see if he makes it fucking clear that, oh, this is going to change everything. If you have the unfinished business or something, maybe he does. If he doesn't, I'm a pissed. I'm a fucking pissed. <laughs> Soon she will leave and I'll return. I know this. 
She didn't find her home house, so I would look for a new owner. The time returned to me. Oh, she's gone. Is that... Oh, I guess it hasn't... I guess I can't do it like this chapter. I have to do it like after the next section, maybe. She's already left, dude. Haven't you gotten the memo? I don't know. Maybe we maybe we won't see Rosa to like the next area or something. Yeah, I actually just realized the... Uh, the skeleton here is the same bow that uh, Aubrey has. Yeah, it's like the same one. It's like in, in lines here. It's like one girl uh, skeleton in each of these. All right, I've run around the whole damn castle. I do not see her. So she's either like hidden in one of the in the village or something, or she just doesn't fucking uh, show up till like later. But whatever, I'm done. I'm done looking. I'm getting the shit out of here. Let's continue. It's a long way down. Do you want to jump? Fuck yeah. Fuck this. Wee! Time to return to white space. Hmm. It's like what happened when I leaped in the hole before with the uh, left palm by the letter. Ow. Oh my god, we're playing Undertale now! Interesting. A white egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. And then Flowey shows up. Oh, hey there, fella! What you doing? Oh god. Hmm, interesting. Oh, I actually realized that, too, I have not been to back to water uh, his flowers in a while, either. Actually, fuck, I better go do that. It's been like a really fucking long time. Hold on. I'm actually, I'm legit nervous to let any of them die. Oh my God. Good thing I did, cause holy shit. I wonder if maybe they only start dying once like all the plants are like dried. Like they'll like die for good. It's like, it has been a fucking hot minute since I've been back here. I've been trapped in fucking Sweetheart's Castle for like 30 years. Yep. They're all gonna be a little, uh, a little thirsty. I actually hope that's the case. I hope it's the case that's just like, they'll only start dying once like all of them are dry. Cause then they'll at least give you a little bit of wiggle room. They'll only start dying once all of them have, have dried out. Cause then they at least give you a, a little bit of wiggle room. Here again to heart. Aubrey gained a heart. Oh damn, we got a lot of Aubrey hearts. Damn. Wow, every one of these is giving her, except for that one. Just got five HP from that shit. Yep, and of course his are completely fine. Yeah, it looks like Kel's, it's like, I don't know if he's ever gonna get any more bonus HP from this, which sucks because he's the one who needs it the most. I also have a very distinct feeling that as we progress through the game, I think Basil's house is going to get like, like the forest and everything around it is gonna die more and more and more. Like it's gonna keep transforming. Like, I bet we're not going to find Basil until the, literally the end of the game. And probably by then, he'll have returned to his house, right? And that's, that's where we'll uh, finally, like, confront and meet him again. That's my theory, at least. All right, good. Glad I did that, actually. Because who knows how long this next part goes on. Mountains of book forgotten through time. The keepers of this library have long since passed. What the, the shit out of here? Find a book of interest. Read an excerpt. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach after all, and everyone was exhausted. Blank was the first to nod off, and then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, Blank's head accidentally drops onto Blank's shoulder. Hmm. Okay, it's actually, it seems to be like going by the number of letters, potentially. So could that be Aubrey then? A-U-B-R-E-Y? So Blank lands accidentally on Aubrey's shoulder. The sudden jolt wakes him. But he doesn't dare open his eyes. No, well, I don't know. Maybe? He just to be asleep as stays his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy. Very, very happy. He makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. Okay, yeah. So that would be Kel then, right? Three letters was the first to nod off. As the sun set... Who's one letter, though? Blank's head actually drops on... 
well, it would have to be Aubrey's shoulder, right? Because Mari wouldn't fit there. Yeah, Aubrey fits. But who's blank with one letter? I feel like it wouldn't be Sunny Amori or Basil. Unless, that's definitely, that's also not their real name or some shit. Stop it. Um, you found a book of interest. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Kel holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. Ah! In what seems like less than a second, Kel disappears out of the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the, the carpet. Uh, Hero's face turns red and yells for Kel, but Kel is already long gone. Mari hands Hero some wet paper towels. Because yeah, Mari and Hero both have four letters. Uh, yeah. It looks like they're the only adults here. Yep. This is like it makes sense. And if they don't clean in this room up soon, the carpet is going to stain. They'll have to deal with Kel later. Okay. So you're saying they decided to, to, to black out the names there. Oh, hey, I see something. I see you, dude. What is it? It's like a little, it's like a little D. Oh, it's a, it's a dark monster. I see his little eye. That's his mouth. He's got little like spider legs. I can't seem to interact with him though. It's kind of, it is kind of, kind of curious and interesting though. They're like the, the blank out the names, but you can still piece it together. Cause you know, at least all of the main cast here are clearly talking about them. Find a, okay. Read an excerpt. It was a hot summer day and, and all blank could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. I'm thinking this has got to be like a Mori or something. Or that or somebody we don't know who literally has one single letter. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn about the area. Uh, paint stains blotched the grass thanks to blank and blank's work. Uh, oh, basil. That, that's that's got to be basil. That's the first time we've seen five letters. Basil and Aubrey's work. All day, blank watched. Uh, Hero or Mari lugged planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. Okay, so it's got to be Hero. He watched Kel hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour has passed since here, uh, Mari cl has climbed down her ladder. I will just be their moral support, Blank thought as, he thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon his friends will be asking for his help and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. Blank knows this and agrees, but reluctantly, he slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of the summer. I, I'm thinking, I mean, the only the only remaining person, right? That we just saw Basil's in there, right? The our process of elimination, Blank has to be Amori slash Sunny, I'm thinking, right? Are there any dark darkness monsters on this side? Uh oh wait. Is that, wait, is that a stain? What is that? Just see a little splotch there. I cannot approach it. It's a giant invisible block barrier there on, yeah, holy, holy shit. Each tree has a very large invisible barrier on the side, yeah. Whoa. Still not interactable. Uh, oh, I see another one. You find a book of interest? Yes. This year, I'm just gonna go with Amori. Um, Amori or, Actually, now let's go with, let's go with Sunny because it's, it's refer likely referring to real world. So Sunny was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to a small window. Every day during class, Sunny would gaze listlessly through the opening. At the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead, his mind drifted elsewhere into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same day as any other. Sunny stared vacantly out the window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, snapping him out of his reverie. So I'm suggesting the right, just like how he seemingly created this world. Sonny looks away from the opening. Kel smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. Sonny's stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. In the sanctity of his white, happy space, 
Oh, there's another one. I see you weird spooky little blob monsters. Stop it. Stop trying to hide your nose from me. I think it might be getting darker as I'm descending. Okay. It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping out the statue. Hero jumps first, then Kel. Uh, then Hero again, then Kel again. The brothers gleefully urge Sonny to join them, and after some careful thoughts, Sonny warily agrees. Sonny shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heartbeat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet with those of a black spider. Fuck this! An instant, uh, Sonny loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. Sonny shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Mm, he relies on his friends, right? just wants to be around, but he's like kind of afraid to do anything on his own. Let's see another thing over here. Ah, this song's pretty. I see creepy eyes, too. Get out of here. So many trees. Oh, I've seen more of them down here. Let's see some more light. Okay. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. Sonny looks at the clock, 8 a.m., two hours left. He would be able to watch with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. Sonny grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. <gasps> uh. Something opened. Ooh. Oh, I actually had to read all of them. Interesting. <gasps> L. Bal. Uh. Burr, burr. Oh, this actually will create a hole as well. Cause this is this is a letter. Welcome. Six keys left. Oh shit, there's two ways to go though. Is this the right way to go or or is it the light? I'm gonna assume it's the light. I'm gonna hope it's the light. If only didn't have to play the violin. That was the one where we saw the broken violin, right? Hmm. Is Mari his tutor? Cause she we I think we did see her playing the violin. Maybe she was the one who was like encouraging uh Amori to learn to play as well. And it pissed him off or whatever. May this like may that morning was the morning that led to potentially like Mario like tripping on the violin and like and dying or something. I wouldn't be surprised if it's something like Amori was like responsible in some way to uh, uh, Mari's death. Fuck, I don't know. It's gonna go this way. Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There's a hole here. Look into the hole. It's Basil. <gasps> oh, fuck, he's a demon. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Ooh. A key. Fuck, it sent me back to white space. Damn it. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck, I gotta go redo it now, because I don't know if there's a light there. This was the fucking way I had to go. Damn it! I should have known, because that was a letter that did actually open something, right? The light might not have been something, but I gotta try. I gotta see. Can't miss anything. Oh, hey! I just saw Mari to the left there. Oh, fuck, I didn't see that before. I just kind of bl ass blasted my way down here. She was walking down the stairs. Hmm. What is this? The wall feels hollow here. I, I am actually curious. If I pick this up before reading all the other things. No, the hole still forms here, doesn't it? It does. Okay. 
I think when I read all the chapters, it actually opened the, the, the light door. Okay, there we go. Probably easier to see that door if I could fuck it. Oh, God. If that light wasn't so fucking bright. Oh, my God, Basil. Why are you looking like a demon lord? That was the first time I actually got, like, a portrait for, uh, for Basil there. Oh, hey. I feel better. Oh, I can save. Interesting. Is there, like, a optional fight in here or something? Got a jump rope as well. The wall feels hollow here. Grand piano. The word of Mori is etched across the center. There's something in here. The wall feels hollow. Did anything change? Can't seem to interact with the piano. So some way to like open these up. Okay. I can't seem to do anything else. So I got a fair amount of it now. Welcomed. It's. Just, I think by this point it should be fairly obvious to anyone playing this what that is now. All right, here we go. Oh, I think the light is actually shining brighter. Yeah. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. It's like it's burning brighter, though. The darkness burns brighter. Maybe it, was, maybe it does it every time I'm, I have to go to the new area for Sunny. Let me look around, make sure there's nothing else out here before I go stabbing myself. I uh, don't see anything. All right. Time to commit Sudoku once more. Ah, fuck this shit, I'm out of here. See you, Mr. Kitty. Why is this the way to get out of here? Two days left. Uh, Hi, Sunny. It's different mommy. Uh, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Any new messages? Hey, Sunny. It's mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start getting worried again. Hope you're pacing your choice. I don't think even I can finish everything in one day. Did you have a visiting kill? If not, it's all right. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? Mm, take things at your own pace, huh? Hmm. I think it is. I think the what ended up happening. I think Mari. I think Mari died. Right. I think she. Some accident happened. Probably something that it was inadvertently caused by Amori himself or Sunny. Um. And after that, right, he blamed himself. He didn't want to. Doesn't want to see his friends. Doesn't want to interact or do anything with anybody. Um. And the mom seems to be selling him the house and moving. Maybe to get away from the the memories, you know? So it's like they just need to get out of this place. Uh, could you see the closet downstairs to see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever, whatever you don't want anymore. So two days left before I come to pick you, I come pick you up. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzz. I was kind of nervous. It was like counting down to like the days that like Sonny would like kill himself or some shit. So it's kind of down to when the mom will come back. Uh, okay, we did have see uh, some messes there at the end. That me remember the keys in the toy box, right? If I come across a toy box, get two dust today. Today's source to wash the dishes. Do you want to start now? Not yet. Still just got thirty dollars. Taking the mirror? No. A toilet. Your vomit is still in there from two nights ago. Never bother to flush it. There's nothing here. It's actually, it's right. I remember before there was actually, uh, and I noticed when I went back to edit that episode, when I was getting like freaked out by the spiders and stuff, there was actually a highlighted door over here, but there's actually in reality, nothing there. When I got out of my, like my fear driven, uh, uh, frenzy. Is there actually a room over there? He wants to block out. 
but I would have thought, I mean, I would have thought it'd be this one. Like, this is the room he doesn't want to go in. I was thinking that must be like Mari's room. Hey, y'all, it's your boy, Future Nico, coming at you with a brand new theory. Yeah, let's go. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but I, was, I just came across some shit while editing, and I was like, oh, fuck, I gotta point this out right now. This is a good point. All right, look, look at this. You see a spot over there? You see a little spot? I've been meaning to bring this up whenever I'm recording, but I, I only ever notice it when I'm freaking editing. Looks like a piece of furniture or something was sitting there, and there were marks on the floor. And I was like, well, what? Why is that there? Why is that has to be significant, right? It can't just be like, oh, well, maybe it's just some window dressing. It's meant to look cool. No, that shit's there for a fucking reason. Like, there was something significant there. And then while I was editing, it fucking hit me. And I was like, I gotta, I gotta try some shit. I'm gonna go, go, I'm gonna go try some crazy shit here. So I went over back to the previous spot where I saw that picture in the other world area. And I full screened it and I cut out an image of that little picture that was sitting on a table. And then I took that image and checked this shit out. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, ah, it fits perfectly. Holy shit, guys. Looks like I just cracked another theory. A game theory. Get the fuck out of here. Woo! But I, I actually, I think that is it. I think it was that table with a, uh, basically, in memory of a uh, person who is deceased, right? Basically, like a eulogy, like a picture of the person with some candles next to them. And they had to sit there for, like, a good period of time, right? But since they're moving, they've gotten rid of it. It actually leads me to believe that that very likely very likely that room to the left that is invisible to us currently i think that is actually mari's room because that's why the picture's so close to it and that's the room he's completely blocking out i don't know what the room to the right would be i think it potentially it could be like a closet or something maybe that's what the mom was talking about before it's like you i need you to check the closet and pick things you want to get rid of but he still doesn't want to go in there because it might still be stuff that belong to Mari that's in there. I'm like 99% certain that's what that was, that Mari is deceased. And I'm really feeling like it's had to be something like that Mar uh, Mori feels responsible in some way. Okay, cool. I just want to say that real quick. All right, back to this asshole. <laughs> Shake head. I guess no one's coming knocking today. It could be that the... The toy box is something I can't, I, I can't like interact with on this route or something. All right, let's go ahead and wash the dishes. You roll up your sleeves. What do you want to wash now? Oh my God. Uh, ornate plate. So many dirty dishes. Oops. You dropped the ornate plate and it shattered. Fuck. Maybe mom won't notice. Chopsticks. Somebody snapped the chopsticks in half. Uh, fancy bowl. Um. Also, one thing. Anything worthwhile in here? Polka dot mug. I'm guessing I'm gonna be doing all of them, right? Oh! Oops, you dropped the polka dot mug and it shattered. What the fuck? Mom's number one mug. Maybe she won't notice this one. Oh, no, okay, we're good. Metal fork. You bend it with your mind. Baking pan. Sonny's a bit of a klutz. Spatula? Very big bowl, I'm gonna break this. <gasps> I didn't! Look at me not breaking something. Wine glass. This, this is going to break. Uh, oh, my God. I'm improving. Metal spoon. Glass cup. Break? No? Frying pan. I guess it was just those two, then. You finally finished washing the dishes. I wonder if it's like a total RNG if... uh. You'd actually end up breaking one of them. Tips of your fingers look like prunes. The dishes are all clean. You should clean clean yourself too. Maybe it's time for a bath. <gasps> oh, time for a bath. Time to get over my fear of drowning. Right? That's probably what it is. I was like, I was thinking it might be like, oh, there's a pool in the backyard. Nah. It's bath time. Can't see what murderous monster tries to get me this time. Her sound. No demons yet. 
Oh, I'll take a bath, yes. Ah. Uh. Ah, damn it all. Damn, this bathtub's a lot deeper than I thought. Oh, fuck. Blah, 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 blah. Mom, up and up. Blah, 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 blah. Uh oh, stairs again. I'm Ari. Come back, Mari. Don't go down the stairs, Mari. And she goes, oh, I can't, I can't turn around. So I come back. No, the darkness has her now. Pretty music. Uh oh. Ah, oh, fuck, giant creepy face guy again. Hey, you want to hear? I got these scars. Oh, God, where my ear? Something drags you down. Something. Uh, all right, time to calm down. Meditate. Sunny listens to, or Sunny listens to Sunny's breathing or something? I'm not sure. Focus more. Sunny listens to Sun Sunny's struggle. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. I think that's Mari talking to him. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. Reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Hmm. I wonder if maybe it could potentially be something like this is Mari teaching Amori how to play the violin, maybe? No matter how impossible it seems. Hmm. Uh, persist. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn. I will not die today. Sunny persists. Got less dark. Ow. Uh, still cannot attack it. May he persist again. Yep, I'm pushing it back. Keep persisting. Push the darkness back. Bring the color back. You will not take me, spindly darkness. Oh, there's the hand again. Oh, it's Mari diving into the pool to save him. Damn, that's a deep bathtub. All right, you behind me, dude? Really? You sure about that? I guess he's not. Not today. Hey, Tinky, after that. <gasps> oh, there's a door there now. 
He shakes his head. Ooh, interesting. Why is there a door there now? I shake my head. Uh, have I conquered most of my fears at this point or something? Is that why that showed up? Because I think it was the last one that of like areas in the dream world that I couldn't access was the, the fear of drowning. Oh, fuck. Mark's behind me. Is the key to it in the toy box? As uh, was suggested earlier. I don't think I've come across a toy box, so. Oh, the door's gone. What the hell? There's nothing here. What? So just it was just there temporarily? Oh, interesting. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe the room that is not there is Mari's room. Then what would the room to the right be, though? Like, it's like the room he wants to forget. I'm sure sound. I also see something in the fucking bed right now. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, I don't go near it. Is that demon basil or something? Oh, it's gone. God damn it. I gotta check the house again. Nothing behind me. Oh, a picture fell. Some family photos. That's what that was. I can't seem to interact with it anyway. Interesting. Interesting there's uh, somebody in there. Uh, I don't see if, I don't see a figure. Oh wait, no, never mind. Hey, what's up? Actually, maybe it was him in bed. What are you doing in my bed? Darkness, get out of here. It's my bed. Hey, what's up? Is that Sunny on the bottom and Amori above him? Yeah, it is. There's his friends. Oh, did I just I just left the white space immediately. But they're not here now. Ah fuck, he's waiting for me. The door is locked. That's interesting. Where'd everybody go? Thought it was someone familiar. I'm gonna make toast to make myself feel better. Just waiting for something to happen. What? You're not gonna give me my allowance? Damn it! Look, I'm I'm so close to running out of money. Come on, Mr. Snake. Huh? Where'd everybody go? Oh, hey. Hey, Mar, there you are. Where you been, buddy? Oh, you were gone. Everyone got tricked into signing contracts. So we all have jobs now. Uh, everyone vanished into thin air. No, I'm just kidding. We're, we're just, we're all busy in the daily grind. You know how it is. Uh, we're going so fast. My job is to put people to the last resort. That's where I work. That's also the name. Isn't that also the name of Aubrey's, that skill Aubrey just got? It's kind of sort of close by. Okay, or maybe it isn't. Come on, I'll show you. It's just across the water. You're gonna have to swim. No, get out of here. 
You can't catch me, negative thoughts. Don't be scared of mine. Get in there. I'm here for you. Just push me the fuck in. And just like that, I'm fucking over it. I am no longer afraid of drowning. I can now swim. I was gonna see Mari. Curious if she like responds or anything. Oh, what? Literally everybody's gone. Even Mari. Even the fucking salesman dude. They're all gone and they're fucking dead. A thick fog envelops the entire forest. Oh, interesting. So I just can't go back to like previous places. Uh, so we went to Pyrefly Floor, so Orange Oasis, Sprout Mole Town, Vast Forest. Oh, I see. Now we're we've actually been we've actually been almost everywhere. It kind of makes me wonder if we're almost getting near the uh, the end of the game or end of like one route. Like, I don't know if this game is necessarily like super massive. Aside from like maybe there being some extra side content. Oh, fog on this side too. Yep. Yeah, it looks like we're going to the last area on the map. Away we go. Oh god, I feel like I'm playing Final Fantasy X again. We're into a giant, impossible to kill fish. Island. It's a big seashell. If you hold up a seashell to your ear, you can hear the ocean. Uh, okay, I see a well. Is there anything else around? Oh, the, are the trees? Yeah, they're actually semi-transparent. Huh. Oh boy. Going down. Blah. So, I guess it's a little further than I thought. Sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> oh yeah, we do need to breathe, don't we? Oh well, it's fine. I'm already over it. Um, uh, yep, I need this. Welcome to black space. So this should form a hole as well. Five keys left. There's a hole here. Yes, please. Eyes. That was a that was a pretty uneventful one. Hey, look, safe rock. Waiting for something to happen. Shut up, safe rock. Holy shit! Under the sea, under the sea. I still see the sky somehow. Hey, it's the alligator. We're almost there, I swear. It's just one taxi away. <laughs> are, we at, are we at rock bottom? <laughs> also, just a he heads up. Try to avoid gator guys as much as possible. I don't think they like me very much. There's a guy right there, though. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> Did you, do you think you'd be able to sneak by the carpool lane if we were two, there were two, kid, two of you kids? So this is just a carpool lane. It's a double carpool lane. You gotta, gotta pass it. Be a posse of four or more. Otherwise, eh, just call back the way you came. <laughs> they look like like football announcers or something like that. I'm gonna run there. What the heck is that? Roman cow? Roman, 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 Roman. Roman, Roman, Roman. Uh. A sea cow. Neat. I see lots of taxis. I found, oh, I found a singular clam. <laughs> Endless highway. Oh, is that where I am? Is it just go on forever then? Until I take a, until I take a taxi. Uh, I did go back the way I came and didn't t transport me. <gasps> Another clam. Another sea cow. Roman, 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 Roman. 
Just gonna keep running until something happens. Yeah, still endless highway. All right. Hey, kids, you wanna go somewhere cool? She go to the last resort. It's the highest strangest place to, th to be these days. Take it there if you want, kid. It's all the rage. Come on, don't be shy. I don't bite much. Sure, creepy taxi cab guy. Ow. Little bump even all that bad. Oh my god. Drove off the side of the road. Come back anytime, kid. Let's turn some music on, man. It's too quiet out here. Look at Mari, it's right ahead. Oh, shnikes. I see Charlene. Welcome to the last resort. There it is. The greatest place on earth. You know, on the way here, I've done some re reflecting. Working at last resort has been great and all. But I gotta say, job, this job isn't all it's got out to be. So why don't we get everyone to quit and get the heck out of here? It's getting boring. Here I've been traveling a lot, a lot for work lately. I know for sure that Aubrey's working at the fifth floor of the last resort. We should go find her first. And of course, right here to the right is something I need Aubrey to fucking knock down, right? Yep. So deep well. A goo man. Hey, you. Yeah, you with this silly expression. You look like you want some fresh milk, fresh from Sea Cow Farms. It's the fresh milk around. It should be fresh in for only 500 clams. Sure. I got rotten milk. Damn it. See, it's the freshest bitch. Maybe it, does, maybe it heals me like a fucking ton. Maybe it's like the best. It's actually the best milk ever. Heals 10 juice plus. Eh? Uh? I'm going to use it. Give it to Kel. Blah, blah, blah. Is everyone going to be trying to sell me shit? Hey, you, yes, with the still expression. The very next sell made for the finest of butt peaches. No, fuck you. Okay, moose down this one. Oh, god damn it. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Fool me 18 other hundred times. Still shame on you. You want a post of this very unique and crankcrafted cardboard cutout? It costs 100 clams, sure. It's right there if you want to use it. Did I even need to pay him to do that? I don't think I did. He's just like, it's right over there if you want to use it. So you and some organic bottled water? Where are you surrounded by water? Liquidation sale, fuck you. Uh, you like you love danger. I got some good quality diamonds waiting to be used. Low price, 1,500 clams. No, no. Oh, God. <gasps> There's Mari. Hey, Mari, look at the finally decided to show the fuck up. <gasps> I'm Mari. It's so good to see you again. What? No hug this time? Anyway, as I was just saying, it's working, paying the bills, but it's not very exciting. So, me and Mari are going to go get Operating Hero. And then we're gonna, I don't know, do some other shit. Fine, Basil? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what we're doing. That's what I was weird going to do. Fuck, I completely forgot. This game's so fucking aimless. Eh, always happy to help. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Nah, don't worry about that, Mari. The boss loves me. We'll be in and out the last short quill quick, no problem. Okay, if you say so, Cal. She a little bit of you? Is that sushi next to her? Come on, Mark. I can't wait for you to meet the boss. He's awesome. Some, yeah, yeah, some raw seafood. I remember it. Oh, God, I feel sick. Oh, I got mercury poison. Hey, hi, little brother. Are you feeling a little bit better now? Why don't you enjoy a nice picnic with me? That's always seems to cheer you up. You sure do love my picnics, don't you, city bugger? Uh. Oh, cost me love. Oh, it's actually a thing. Missing friends. Did I see you and Kel or not? Aubrey here must be right nearby as well. Uh, Kel said find Aubrey on the fifth floor. Start there first. Okay. Well, all right, guys. I think this is probably a good place to end things here for now. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become Pee Penguin. Aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time. Stay classy!